In this video, we'll write the balanced net ionic equation for HBr plus BaOH2. The first thing we need to do is balance the molecular equation. So when we look at this molecular equation, I've got two Br's here and just one here. Let's put a two here. And then it looks like I've got two oxygens here. Put a two here. That balances the hydrogens. So this is the balanced equation for HBr plus BaOH2. Next, we need to write the states for each substance. So it's helpful to have memorized your strong acids and strong bases. So here's a chart, some strong acids, strong bases, good thing to memorize. We can see that HBr right here, that's a strong acid. Because it's a strong acid, it'll dissociate completely. We write AQ. It's going to break apart into its ions. Barium hydroxide is a strong base. Same thing. It's going to dissociate completely, break apart into its ions in water, write an AQ. Water is a liquid, and then barium bromide, bromides in general, very soluble. Let a AQ for that. So we have our states. Next, we need to split the strong electrolytes into their ions, which will give us the complete ionic equation. So hydrogen group one has a one plus charge. Barium, that has a one minus. So I have two hydrogen ions, two H plus. I'll write aqueous at the end. I don't want to write that right now. And then two bromide ions, B, R minus. We said that barium hydroxide is a strong base. It's going to break apart completely. Barium's in group two, two plus ionic charge. And this hydroxide ion, the whole thing is one minus. Good one to remember. So we have barium two plus B, A, two plus, and then we have two of these hydroxide ions, OH minus. These are the reactants in our net ionic equation. For net ionic equations, we don't split liquids apart. So we're just going to have two water molecules there. And then we said barium, group two, and then bromide ion is one minus. So we have Ba2 plus, and then the two bromide ions. And those are the products. This is the complete ionic equation, also called total ionic equation. Now we'll cross out these spectator ions that are on both sides. So as I look at the reactants here and the products, I can see I have two bromide ions here in the reactants, two in the products. Cross those out. Two barium ions here, reactants, two in the products. Cross those out. But everything else, this is unique. And this is the net ionic equation for HBr plus BaOH2. I'll clean it up and write the states in, and we'll have our net ionic equation. And this is the net ionic equation for a hydrobromic acid plus barium hydroxide. You'll notice we have the coefficients of 2, 2, and 2. We can reduce that further. We can just have 1, 1, 1, lower number there. We don't write the 1s. So now this is a little more compact net ionic equation. You'll note that the charge balances out positive and negative. This gives us a neutral molecule. We have two hydrogen atoms here, two here, one oxygen, and then one here. So both charge and mass are conserved. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.